everyone, it's Bailey from Making It the Midwest, and this is going to be a review and tutorial of how I achieve this hairstyle. Uh, some of you in my more recent videos have been asking uh, how I get this style, what I use to get this style, and so this is going to be what it's all about because I only recently found the tool that I use to achieve this, so I figured I might as well share it with everyone. So if you'd like to see that, please continue watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off with a review, that way you know what I am working with. It is the Zoe Professional 3-in-1 Curling Iron, and I really kind of stumbled upon this by... Um, pure luck. I got it at Marshall's. You can see here on the back, here's the price tag. I was shopping with my mom and my sister because this is our, it's where we jam, is Marshall's and TJ Maxx. So we were at Marshall's and I found this and thought I need a new curling iron because mine just, my hair wasn't holding curl and it was getting frizzy and just, it was in rough shape. So I thought, you know, I think I'm going to switch to a clipless curling iron, but I couldn't decide which one. So I found this one. It is a three-in-one and if you look here on the back, it has a one and a quarter inch, a three quarter inch, and then a conical wand that says it's a half inch. I don't know if that's at the thickest or thinnest part, but it says it's half inch. So that is everything that's included in here in addition to a case. Now there is no mitt. I know that many uh, clipless curling irons or conical wands come with mitts or gloves or something to help protect your fingers, and this does not come with that. But honestly, I don't find that I need one. So Oh, and then if you, in the case it did the camera didn't focus and I didn't see it, the price is $19.99 and it says it was originally $38. So even at full price, these are, this is pretty reasonably priced. I've never heard of the brand Zoe Professional until I saw it at, um, at Marshall's, but it's, I really, really like it. I get curls that are very shiny. They're, um, they come in one piece. It doesn't frizz my hair. And so it doesn't look like there's anything special about this particular curling wand that, wasn't that I didn't have in my previous curling iron. Um, maybe it's just newer, less gunked up. I don't know, but it seems to be working really, really well on my hair, and I really enjoy it. The of this, though, is that it doesn't have, it has one heat setting, and so on the back here it says it heats up in 30 seconds to 420 degrees Fahrenheit and maintains this all throughout styling, but as you can see here, um, it's only one uh, just there's one setting there isn't like a you can't do different temperatures it's just one thing which I don't find I need because my all of my heating tools are always at the highest heat setting anyway so it was no loss for me but if you kind of rely on those heat settings this you might want to look for something that has a little bit more versatility so here is the little um, I guess storage thing they give you for them and you can see there are two wands already in here because I just did the hair tutorial with the one and a quarter inch wand here and here let me just show you this these are the heat settings or <laughs> the one heat setting right here it's just the switch and then this is the wand it's like any wand just a standard one diameter all the way up and then the other two wands that come with it are these two right here this one is the three quarter inch wand which is still big in and of itself although it looks like it's kind of tapered um, but three quarter inch for most part and then there is the conical wand, and this looks like, I haven't used this one yet, but it looks like it could create some um, like tighter spirals. So I'll have to kind of play with that and maybe see if I can come up with a tutorial, but it's like any other conical wand that I've seen floating around anywhere, like at Target or Walmart or whatever. The other nice thing about this case is that, so it not only stores your wand um, replacements or change, I don't even know what to call them. It not only stores your wands, but it also stores this part and the cord, which is great because I find that when I travel, my cords get in such rough shape and they get kinked and bent and sometimes they break. And that's just, I love it that it is stored in here. And you don't have to worry about getting tangled with a bunch of other stuff. So the pouch is really nice. Like I didn't expect to get it with everything, but it's a definite plus. What else? I think the only other thing that I want to say about this is that it's really, really easy to change. And I don't know if it's cool enough for me to change, but basically what you do, there's just this little thing, you twist it and then you pull it up. We'll see if it's cool enough. Yeah. You pull it up just like this. So it comes in two parts and that's it. That's all you do. When you want to put it back in, you place it back in and you twist this and it pops back into place. Good as new. It's like, it's so easy. I love this. Um, that's really all I had to say about this. I'm really loving it so far. It helps. This is such an easy tutorial that we're going to get into in just a second. Uh, super easy to create with this. That's all there really is to say about this set. I really am enjoying it. For the price, it, for 20 bucks, it was 20 bucks, and to get three, basically three curling irons, it's a really good deal. Like I said before, it's, they're really easy to use, easy to change. There is only one heat setting, but that really doesn't bother me. It gives you something to store them in, and they create these curls that I couldn't get with my other curl iron so oh the other thing was it's really easy to adjust to a clipless iron if you previously were clipped I was a little worried about like 
finagling it around with the hair and the, how that would go. But it was super easy. It's so easy to learn if you're kind of hesitant to try it because of that. It's really easy. Don't let them hold you back. Okay, so if you can think of anything I might have left out, please feel free to leave it in the comment section or message me or tweet me or do whatever it is you got to do to ask me a question. I would love to hear them and I would love to inform you because I'm here to inform, basically. So please do ask me those questions if I miss something or you just want to know something. And besides that, I think it's time to get into the tutorial, so let's go. Okay, so to start this look off, even if it's first day hair, this also works for second day hair, it especially helps for second day hair, actually, I use a texturizer. You can also use a dry shampoo, really just something to lift my hair at the roots because I have, like, chronic flattening of the hair, like it's a disease. I don't even know. So I use Osis's... Osis's? Osis's... <laughs> I use Osis Dust It, and I'm actually going to do a comparison of texturizers and dry shampoo because there's a, there's a dupe for this that you can buy in drugstores. This is mostly found in salons, if not online, and so um, there's a dupe for this made by Schwarzkopf, which is who makes this. So I'm going to do a whole separate video on dry shampoos, texturizers, reviews, and comparisons, and all that stuff. So look for that. But this is what I like to use and how I use it how I use it. The way I like to use it is by sprinkling a little bit of it into the palm of my hand and then rubbing it in so that it's mostly invisible so you can't really see it and then I just run it through the roots of my hair. Sometimes I, I will sprinkle it straight into my hair but I find that if um, if you get too much into it, it it gets to be feel kind of gunky and so I just do this running it through everywhere and it kind of wicks away any kind of moisture in addition to giving it texture. I really like this because to me it acts like both a dry shampoo and that it wicks away moisture kind of refreshes my hair although it doesn't have a fragrance but um, but it also texturizes as well. It gives my hair a little bit of lift at the roots and it just solves all my problems. It's a wonder product. Alright, so once you are adequately zhuzhed, it's time to part your hair however you want to part it. Sometimes I part it like this, sometimes I part it in the center. It just depends on what looks best on you. Um, and when I say center, I never mean directly center because that can be too harsh for my face shape. So even if you're wanting something roughly in the center, always go just slightly like if this is the center, just go slightly offside because it's less severe. Conical wand. This is the one and a quarter inch barrel. And I like to start with my bangs just because it's like, you know, dipping your toes in the water before you jump into the whole shebang. Although it's super easy, so there's not much to jump into. Um, I take a bang a side of a bang and I wrap it around starting at the top well actually this is like mid mid shaft and I just wrap it around like this and so you're gonna get this super curly cue kind of thing here but you just want to straighten it out ain't no thing just straighten it out like that and it I find on my hair so here's the deal on my hair it will relax and this won't be such like a pig's tail but if you have hair that holds curl really well then you might want to start a little bit farther down the um, the strand like say here and just curl the end that way you'll have something that ends up more looking more like that later whereas mine will relax to that so that's what I do and I'm going to do this on the other side and because my hair is thicker on this side because I you know biased it by putting on one by parting it on one side I do like two to three sections on whatever side is thicker so really even though it looks like a little too curly here the ultimate goal is that you want to be able to spray it back and have it have it look like this kind of where it just all flows to the back so don't worry if it's too curly because you can always spray and or pin it back so it looks a little more ruly so that's it for the face framing pieces. I guess I really only did three goes to get it all. And once I'm done with those sections, then I will move on to like these longer sections here and it gets even easier. You don't even have to worry about like the orientation of your wand. All you have to do is stick it and then start wrapping. That's literally it. I curl down and that's it. You hold it maybe, I would say, I guess I should have told you how long to hold these. Um, 30 seconds, no longer than a minute. That's it. Because you don't want to fry your hair. It's like and then we're done. And you just get this. And as I said, my hair will relax, so if your hair holds curl really well and you don't want this, then um, consider taking it further down the hair strand. But this is where it's about to get really boring because this is what I do the entire time. Just this. That's all. And you can see I have a few layers. I don't know if you can see that they're kind of sticking out right there. I really don't pay attention to them. If I find that there are shorter layers that are uncurled at the very end, then I'll go back and curl them. But you can see I'm not paying special attention to anything. I'm really just taking big, chunky sections at a time and curling them. 
You can move this up and down your hair like as you're holding it, which really helps distribute the heat throughout the, the length of the hair. And so I find that it heats my hair up faster and it takes less time to curl. So just doing that a few times and then you're good to go. Okay, it's at this point that I think I'm going to cut away and then come back at you when I have the other side done. But I will tell you this much, that when I'm done with this side, I will spritz it with hairspray because my hair falls that fast. I really actually could do like a quarter of my head and spritz it with hairspray because it falls fast. So, um, I won't show you that though because it's, it's literally just spraying it. So as far as styling goes, like I said, it's really all about these things. And so um, you can see this one's kind of already doing what I want to in that it's like flipping back and kind of going away from my face. This one's pretty much doing the same. That's why I'm saying that as long as you curl your hair to the back, you really don't have to worry about it. If you find that you are having trouble though, I recommend just taking a bobby pin and kind of placing the hair back here and just slipping it in there so you can't really notice where it is. And then it'll stay all day and you don't have to worry about it kind of um, you know, getting misplaced or anything. It'll just stay like that and you'll be good. Another thing I love about this hairstyle is that, well, aside from the fact that it's so, so easy and great on second day hair, is that you really don't have to worry about messing with it throughout the day. Like if your hair holds curls, if you get a medium hold kind of hairspray that even mine that doesn't hold curly really well, you just spritz it once with like a medium, um, even to a firm hold hairspray and it'll stay all day and it will move. I love, I'm such a, I like to run my fingers through my hair throughout the day and so um, it kind of bugs me when it's like crunchy and I can't do that but this gives you a lot of freedom because it's not like anything has to be perfectly in place it's very um easy to just move around throughout the day. So another reason why I love this hairstyle. So I hope this tutorial and review of the three-in-one curling iron was useful and that you find it if you want to. Again, I found mine at Marshall's, but you might as well check out Ross and TJ Maxx because um, either two or all of them are owned by the same kind of people. So they, I've seen the same thing at multiple different places. So you might as well go ahead and try if you have all of those nearby. Try all of them you can because that's where I found mine. Otherwise, I'll we'll see if I can find it online and post the link below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.